I wasn't thinking about doing some evil or bad things, but I knew happen mefika. This is the land of milk and honey, and I have arrived. Hey! <laughs> What's up, Jumbo? Karibu sana to my channel. It's none other than Sharon, aka Wabaraka. And again, thank you very much for coming back to my channel. Karibu sana. If you are new here, Karibu! <laughs> to Karibisha again. If you are a returning subscriber, again, also thank you very much for always coming back to watch my video. Thank you. You are the reason why I keep coming back. Now, if you haven't subscribed before I continue, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that red subscribe button down there. Don't forget to share with all your friends and like the content and also write a comment as well. Now, in today's video, it's a continuation of the video that I started the other day. Tuliachia Malia culture shock. In this channel, we do nothing else but real life, real issues, and real talks to inspire, inform, and impact. Sasa, this is the land that I have been dreaming, the land of milk and honey. Nimefika, nimeingia. Culture shock. Where? <laughs> My friend, where do I start now? Okay, let me start with the first day's experiences. Marangu wa kwanza kufika, it was around summertime. Remember, I'm a village girl, I'm young, I'm naive, I've not traveled before, I'm not well traveled. So, I don't know a lot about other countries. Nimefika ulaya, it is summertime. Nikaangalia sayangu. Around 8pm, jua ilikuwa bado pale. Like it is saa tisa ya mchana. He, nikaanza kushanga. Kwa ni huku? Haku kwangi usiku? Me I'm thinking, kama ninge kwa nyumbani, around 8pm ni giza, giza kabisa. You don't even see people that much outside. Now here I'm, I've arrived and it is full life full on. That was a first shock for me. Hey, leave that one. Tutasonga mbele, utasikia. Now, I was uh, taken around after when I rested, nikaanza kupelekwa around kuona vile the place iko. And surely enough, it's a very beautiful place. I think it's what I had a bit in mind. Kama vile ninaonanga kwa TV, yes, yeah, some of the places are like that. But hey, hey. Mimi bado I'm, I'm still trying to process. In my little mind, bado ninajaribu ku process. This is such a big land. This is not what I was expecting. Yes, I knew it is a beautiful place. Yes, I knew where I'm going is a, is a land of milk and honey. But my mind was still trying to process everything. And it is processing very fast. <laughs> now... Uko, ukienda, you really see people on the streets. Garu ziko nyingi sana, 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 sana. Na kila mtu anaenda na gari yake. Watu wakutembea na mgu. Kama umetoka Afrika, umejeribu, umezoya kutembea mgu. Utashtuka. Then, nikitembea, ni, nilianza sasa kwenda inja kwenza kutembea, nikafika kwa traffic light. <laughs> that was another shock. So kama Kenya ati unafika kwa mata, una cross tu vile unataka. You have to cross the streets at a particular place. Lazima ufinya kale ka this uh, usually on the street lights kuna ka kanini ka post apo. You have to press kuna kitopo na press and then you wait for the traffic lights to turn red and the green person has to be on before you start crossing the road. Sio tu kuvuka 
tu hivyo <laughs> well, let me tell you the mistake i did mimi na ushamba yangu nimefika nikaenda nikapata barabara <laughs> nikaenda kuvuka <laughs> nikapigiwa mahoni first of all i'm crossing at the wrong place it's not at the crossing point watu wanashindwa nini mbaya na huyu you just crossing the road vile unataka na hata nina cross when the when the cars are still moving at ninaanza kudakdak na magari hivi vile nimezoea <laughs> so my advice to you who is going ulaya usivukavuke barabara vile unataka there are particular points where you cross and you have to wait for the green man remember green man <laughs> to come on until the green man comes on stop and wait and don't cross anywhere go to the particular place where you can cross and cross the road there alafu that for me was now a shock because babu that's that's not anything that nilikuwa nime have been i was used to now ikafika sasa mali ya kwanza kazi and by the way jobs are there ulaya kazi ziko nyingi sana labda wewe mwenyewe ukataka kufanya kazi but the jobs are there they are always looking for people to hire that was not a problem finding a job haikuwa shida haikuwa shida at all at all shida ilikuwa hiyo kazi unafanya mpaka unashtuka and let me tell you Watu wala wako Kenya mnaweza fikiria watu wako diaspora wakiwaambia they are busy at ni kujifanya wanajifanya that is very true people in diaspora work i think two times or three times harder than people that are in Africa hakuna kupumzika na pesa haitoshi pia okay unapata pesa nyingi say, don't quote me on that pesa iko nyingi but The, the 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 more that you earn ndio pia una spend sana sana so the more you earn the higher the expenditure or the more the needs that you have so you're always out in the run looking for for money so that you can meet all the needs that you have hiyo ndio shida moja and the reason why you get all these issues ni kwa sababu uko na nyumba hiyo nyumba ni lazima ilipwe kuna bills water bills electricity bills uh, kuna kitu inaitwa kama gas ya ku, ya ku heat up heating the house when it is during the, the cold seasons all that is money kuna chakula pengine hata uko na, na gari umebarikiwa you have to pay the insurance if you own a house you have to pay insurance for that house so there are many 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 bills and that's why i said the more you earn because all, if you're earning a lot of money you want to live good so if you uh, when you start from below pengine you are renting so cost of mtu ambaye ana rent is very different from cost of a person that has owned a house and has cars and has children and has a bigger family so it varies depending on your own circumstances and your own needs so and that is why people work because you want to meet all the needs that you have okay so kwenda kutembea na kuishi are two different things and i know watu wengi wakitembea they see this beautiful place they like it you napeleko around unaenda unaonyesha all the things that you see and it is all good the reality kicks in when you're there you're working and you're experiencing it yourself that is when the reality begins now let me tell you what has also shocked me nimetoka ushago mimi nimezoea kuona watu na kuongelesha watu na kuwasalimia. Hello. <laughs> na kuangalia angalia nje hauoni watu. You don't see even your neighbors. Now I'm wondering all these big houses. Where are the people? Do people live in these houses? Where are they? You don't get to see them apart from maybe one uh, 
odd occasions or two where you get to see children playing outside and they're obviously now being supervised by their parents and they will not speak to you how <laughs> kuongelesha si kama kenya kenya unajua hata ukipatana na mtu hamjui mnasalimiana tu eh gethenishia more than me uko hausalimiwi na neighbor kila mtu ni kivyake do you know there is a time i lived for a whole year without knowing my next door neighbor ni nani yani hata nikipata shida si zienda nika nikaongelesha neighbor that is what i'm talking about that for me was a shock it wasn't what i was prepared for kuishi so isolated you only interact with the people you know the people that you live with are the people that you interact with hawa wengine kila mtu na kivyake that for me was a big shock and then the other one ile nimesema hiyo ya kazi i wanted to work obviously and uh, i had been told my job ziko but i didn't expect to do as much work without seeing the real benefit or the real fruits kwa sababu i'm earning and they are being taken i'm earning and they are being taken as you progress on things become better because you learn smarter ways of uh, saving and spending money think when you new inakuanga ngumu sana my advice to any newcomers when you muna travel especially wale wanaenda america when you get your first job immediately start saving don't earn and spend it all because there is that risk you're earning and you want to spend it all because the money is there and you can see it's there start saving is what i will encourage you to do and what i would advise you to do save the other thing ni transport sasa nimefika nime kwa mtu wa kwenda na matatu and me where i arrived public transport was not that good sasa nikauliza matatu una, ma, matatu inapandiwa wapi <laughs> i was looking for matatus to board and go to kama ni soko ama ni duka and there are none hakuna okay kuna public transport vitu kama trains their buses but they have times always enda kama ti kenya unasimamisha kama nduthi anywhere ama matatu na isimamisha tu anywhere they stop at particular stops and they come at particular times so i had to learn very quickly to look at the time time is important kwa muzungu anafanyanga kazi with time so if you are coming from africa and you are not time conscious he utapata shida that was for me the first realization that everything is dependent on time alafu when i say time sio kama kwetu you don't look at jua ukiangalia jua atujua kama kume kumekuwa ni mchana ama kumekuwa usiku you don't look at jua you look at the time your watch is what you look at but like i said jobs are there there are plenty you can choose wherever you want to work you can do as many jobs as you want to do the choice is yours then the other thing was ukienda kwa duka ama ukienda for example kwa bank si kama nyumbani you come sijui kulingana na nani anajulikana no 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 ulaya everybody is the same you wait for your turn to be served hakuna kukimbizana ati unataka kwenda mbele kwa sababu wewe uko na mbio ama kwa sababu wewe unajulikana no you have to wait for your turn to be served you have to wait sio tu hivyo hivyo tiki kiugafla and they are very patient so the other thing you're going to have to learn ukiingia ulaya is something called patience patience is very important kama nyumbani ukifika unapatanga mtu for example ni kwa hata kuingia kwa basi watu mnakimbizana you know nani anataka kuingia mbele utaki kuachwa <laughs> ukifika huko you follow the queue hakuna kukimbizana basi itasimama mpaka saa ile 
mtaja iende na ikija uh, nini kama the driver decides they are not taking any more passengers they tell you it's full to capacity they cannot take anybody else kwa hivyo you have to wait for the next one the good thing is they come na times buses kama you're using public transport and i would imagine ukiingia ulaya mara ya kwanza hauna gari so you rely on public transport they, they come on particular times so you again that's the other third tip time time is very important you will have to be time conscious sio tu kuamka unakimbia unafanya vitu kivyako no 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 everything operates by the time there is a time for nini shift ya kuanza and there is a time ya shift kumaliza shift ingine ianze and that follows a sequence like that so you just have to follow the sequence like that be time conscious ukichalawa chalawa mara nyingi hata kazi utapoteza <laughs> you're going to lose your job so you have to be time conscious so for me that was again i think another thing nilikuwa nimezoea like i said nimetoka ushago a village girl i'm not used to being time conscious and now here i'm doing things in a structured way that i was not used to that is something i had to learn and adapt very quickly okay so that's another thing and then the other thing is when you go to the shops hakuna kubagain kama uliko umezoea kubagain ati unaenda kununua mboga unapata mboga ina cost 1 pound or 1 dollar depending utaenda ulaya gani hakuna kubagain you buy at the price that is marked hata <laughs> nguo ukienda kununua nguo you don't start bargaining you buy at the price that has been marked hakuna kuanza kubagain huko <laughs> sasa for me again that was something that shocked me juni mezo ya kubagain you come out with the best bargaining prices you don't get anything like that there so that's another thing to take into consideration and all these things my mind was trying to process very very fast very very quickly i'm thinking what kind of life is this you know what one is shingi too evil it was very very strange for me it was very very strange alafu kitu kingine itakushtua it's the accent i think i should have said that as the first one accent for me was number one challenge and shock The first time nilingia especially kwa kazi nikaongeleshwa I was just saying yes yes <laughs> Na pengine ile kitu imeulizwa it doesn't even require you to say yes but because I have not understood na I don't want to embarrass myself there's that kafia when you're there you want to do good you want to be perfect you know so you just say yes Let me tell you what I have learned wazungu they are very accommodating kama haujaelewa just say i didn't understand can you please repeat and speak slowly kama unasikia naongea haraka haraka kwa sababu sana sana utafikia utasikia wakiongea haraka na the same thing wewe unasikia wakiongea haraka ndio pia hao wanasikia wewe ukiongea haraka so don't want to be miss perfect ama mr perfect and just say <laughs> yes <laughs> you you make a fool of yourself <laughs> just say pardon me am i excuse am i repeat they'll happily repeat what they are asking you but they like to embarrass but for me that was a major shock sikwa ninasikia for a long time in fact in fact even to, to up to today na nimeishi ngambo miaka nyingi sana up to today there are things i still struggle with kwa hivyo hiyo ni kitu haiwezi toka haraka you know it's a challenge that will always be there me i have kids i thank god i've been blessed with kids hawa wamelelewa huku they understand better they speak kama hao lugha sio shida hata mimi mwenyewe hao wakiongea ni siski i have to say what what are you saying what are you saying i have to keep asking them kama sijasikia lakini hao wanakuja na pia wale wanaenda ngambo na watoto you find that they also adapt very quickly ukienda ukiwa mtu mzima it is very hard for you to change your accent very very hard lakini watoto regardless of the age 
huwa wana adapt haraka haraka sana wanaanza ku take that culture very very easily and wataanza pia kuongea kwa nyumba unashindwa eh so for me again uh, language ama the, the accent was was a shock it came in as a as a shock for me so look out for that this video i don't want to talk a lot kwa sababu kuna vitu nyingi sana 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 i think i'm going to do part 3 of this video and tell you more about uh kuishi ulaya what you need to do to easily adapt what i have learned along the way that can help you to adapt and that is also going to help you as you prepare to relocate and go to those beautiful countries as you go and live there it will help you what to do in order to adapt and in order to live comfortably and not feel out of place until the next video for now guys baraka